Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 3 of Mr. Shahidra's book on, about EDC. And here primarily I will be solving question D3.12. And this is on the request of a student. Now this question is from the fifth edition of the book. Now in the same question in the two editions are, uh, have slightly different interpretation and different working procedure. In the fifth edition, design the circuit below in figure to give an output voltage of 2.4 volts. So 2.4 volt we want here. Same here also in the second question, provide an output of 2.4 volt. Assume that diode available is 0.7 volt drop at 1 milliampere. Assume that diode available at 0.7 volt at 1 milliampere. But with the first question there is an additional information that delta V that is change in voltage is equal to 0.1 volt per decade changes in current. And because of this, now what is this? Well, I'll explain as we go on. Because of this, the answer is different. In the first case, the answer is 760 ohm, and in the second case, answer is 139 ohm. So in this video, I'll be only solving this one, but I'll strongly recommend that you must watch my next video to see the answer of or the working procedure of question 411. Now recall that we use this characteristic curve and generally we say that at 0 0.7 volt the diode fully conducts. But it is not exactly like this. It, it is something like this that it starts conducting from let's say minus uh, 0.4 and then it goes up to uh, 9 and then it becomes a straight, 8 or 9 it becomes a straight. So here is the com comment on this, that for a fully conducting diode, the voltage drop lies in a narrow range of approximately 0 0.6 to 8 volt. So 0 0.6 to 8 volt. And the simple model, it is assumed that it is to be 0 0.7 volt as has been done here. So keeping this in mind, we can then say that we we could have two voltages. One is V1, which is uh, related with current I1, and the other is V2, which is related with current I2. Now we'll do some derivation. This was the equation for current. Now keeping this in view, we'll calculate I1 and I2. So for diode voltage V1, I1 will be, just put uh, I1 here, and then for V, we'll put V1. So this is our equation for V1. And similarly, for V2, we'll have a similar equation. And when we divide I2 over I1, then we get this equation, Is gets cancelled in both of them. And now we'll take a natural log because this is e raised to the power, so we'll take natural log on both sides. So log natural I2 over I1 will be V2 minus V1 and Vt. So log nat uh, natural and E will cancel, so we'll get this term. And from here we can uh, find that V2 minus V1 is NVT log natural I2 over I1. Now for plotting we need uh, log base 10. So we'll, we convert log natural into log base 10 and to do that we multiply it by 2.3. Now how did we get 2.3? I'll try to explain here. Let's say there is a number 10, we take log natural of 10, its value will be 2.3. and if you take log base 10 of 10, its value will be 1. So the ratio between these two will be 2.3. Similarly, if the number was 100, then log natural of 100 is 4.6 and log base 10 of 100 is 2 and here also the ratio is 4.6 divided by 2, that is 2.3. So we can generalize that log natural of x 
divided by log base 10 of x will be 2.3 that means log natural will be 2.3 of log base 10 x so that is what we are doing we converting this log natural into log 10 so we multiply it by 2.3 okay now let's see uh, in the question 3.12 from fifth edition of the book design the circuit below in the figure the circuit to provide an output of 2.4 volt so we want an output here and design means actually we need to find the value of r assume that the diode available is 0 0.7 volt drop at 1 milliampere so this is the diode characteristics and this point I'll explain delta V is 0 0.1 volt per decade as we go on. So the first thing we can see from the circuit that to get 2.4 volt here each diode must drop 2.4 divided by 3 that is 0 0.8 volt. There are three diodes so 0 0.8 volt. Now you can see there are two voltages, 0 0.7 volt at 1 milliampere and 0 0.8 volt at, we don't know at what milliampere. So this fact, 0 0.71 milliampere. So we can say that let V1 be 0 0.7 volt and I1 1 milliampere. So V1 0 0.7 and I1 1 milliampere. This is given. And V2 is 0 0.8. 8 volt but I2 we don't know. Now to calculate this we will use this formula that we have learned and we plug in the values so 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 2 0.3 and Vt is 25 milli log I2 over I1. And from here we get 0 0.1 is equal to these terms and now we use this condition what is it saying that if the voltage which is delta volt is 0 0.1 the current will change 10 times so delta, uh, delta volt is 0 0.1 there will be decayed change in current that means I2 uh, I1 will become 10 times and its new name will be I2. So we can say that from the given condition, this condition, we conclude that since delta V is 0 1 volt in our case, hence I2 will be 10 times I1 that is decayed higher. And I1 we know is 1 milliampere, therefore I2 will be 10 milliampere. Okay, now we come to the circuit. We have found out I2 to be 10 milliampere. This is 10 volt, this is 2.4 volt. I, uh, we have to find R. So you can say R is V over I 10 minus 2.4 divided by I2. I2 is 10 milliampere. And so the answer is 760 ohm. So this is how uh, you proceed to solve this uh, question. But I must emphasize that you must see the next video where the answer is totally different. It is 139 ohm for the same question. Thank you.